Hello everyone, your tech enthusiast here and today I will guide you through some major changes in Windows 11 build 22168. So Microsoft actually decided to release small patch this Friday on 27th of August uh, and they released brand new patch uh, version 22168 but usually they release uh, this uh, patches on Thursday so they decided to actually release this one on Friday so they once more again have important reminder for us who are actually using developer channel and beta channel uh, builds of Windows 11 so that uh, now is the right time to actually switch to the beta channel because uh, in the next few builds developer channel uh, will become more buggy and the beta channel will be the more stable one so if we go to the uh, some major changes right now and I will actually show you that I'm actually currently running the latest Windows build so if we go to the settings and system and about uh, the device as you can see we have operating system build 22168 so they there are some major changes and improvements so they are delighted Microsoft is actually uh, introducing that in chat in Microsoft Teams now supports multiple languages so uh, the brand new uh, chat with Microsoft Teams app uh, will now have multi language support so I will also put a link down below in the video description for Windows block uh, so you can uh, check if your language is actually supported right now so they are actually also introducing a brand new uh, widget uh, Microsoft 365 widget actually uh, and brings relevant documents, news and meeting recordings uh, to enterprise users. So, uh, b b and also this widget, is, this widget is also only available if uh, you are actually signed in with your uh, Azure Active Directory uh, account. So I can't actually show you right now uh, this one, but if you're interested, I will show you an image right here. This is how it looks like. So this is the Microsoft 365 account, uh, 365 widget, and I will show you also how to add it. So on the widgets right here, if you click the widget panel right here, uh, we will click add widgets. And as you can see, you should be uh, able to add uh, here Microsoft 365 account, but only if you have a Microsoft Azure Active Directory account. I think that this is the right step to the right direction from Microsoft. And uh, also, uh, they have some major fixtures, fixes. So uh, in the search, they addressed an underlying issue in the last couple of flights for pan-enabled devices. The devices that was resulting in the search getting into a state where it wasn't wasn't possible to launch apps for the results. So in the settings, they also fixed uh, an issue where typing certain phrases into the search box in settings were crashing, setting some times, and also in the widgets. Uh, when using the family widget, um, there shouldn't be no, uh, no longer uh, unexpect unexpectedly see a message saying connect a device to see screen time activity. And uh, in chat from Microsoft Teams, they fixed an issue where sometimes videos would freeze or, or a display a, a black image during video calls and also fixed the issue where if you switch between calls the previous call, call is not out of, automatically put on hold so audio and video streams continue with both calls so these are all the fixes with this build and all the major um, uh, major changes in this build 22168 uh, this is the brand new widget that Microsoft actually introduced so I will wrap this video up right here. So thank you again for watching this one till the end. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to like this video and comment down below what you think about actually this one new build and if you are actually clean installing Windows 11 right now. So with that being said, thank you again for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.